Sound is a longitudinal wave. It is produced by vibrations that are parallel to the direction of energy transfer. Sound waves show areas of compression and rarefaction. So here's an area of compression where the particles are close together and here is an area of rarefaction where the particles are further apart. And as the particles vibrate, the energy is transferred parallel to the vibrations. So sound waves need particles in order to transfer the energy. When a speaker produces sound, the speaker skin moves back and forth, and we call this oscillates. The air molecules in front of the speaker oscillate and transfer the energy. So when this skin is moving out and back, we describe that as oscillating, it's moving back and forth, and that will cause the air particles in front of the speaker to also vibrate and move back and forth and it will create these areas of compression and rarefaction which will pass on the energy to the neighbouring particles. The speed of sound in air is 340 metres per second. Sound travels faster in liquids, for example in water sound travels at just under 1500 meters per second. Sound travels fastest in solids, for example in steel, sound travels at just over 5000 meters per second. Can you think about why this might be? Well as you move from a gas into a liquid into a solid, you'll see that the particles are closer together. And sound travels faster in mediums, which means materials, with particles closer together. In a solid, the particles are close together. As the particles vibrate, they collide with the neighbouring particles, transferring energy. So as these particles vibrate, they'll transfer the energy onto the next ones, and so on. And because they're really close together, this happens very quickly. Liquids, they're a little bit more of an irregular arrangement, so maybe if this one's trying to transfer the energy, it may be a bit further from the neighbouring particle, and in a gas, these particles are very far apart, so sound travels fastest when the particles are closer together. Sound waves are passed on through the vibrations of particles. There are no particles in space. That's why they say you can't hear in space. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.